Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. So today I am with Gigi and I know you guys haven't seen Gigi in a long time because she was in the Holden Bassinet for rooting. Um, I managed to get um, a lot done with her. She just still have the middle of her head to, that needs to be done. But she does have hair in the back and in the front. So um, let me see if you can see like so it's kind of cool because if she's if I lay her on her maybe I'll do it later when I lay if I lay her on her tummy she'll still you can see hair and so it looks like she's fully rooted I know all these games I play with these babies because I just don't have enough hands I wish I was an octopus um to just be like rooting multiples at the same time sorry I did trim her hair, so I got a piece, I think, right here. Sorry, it, it bothered me, even though it don't show up on the camera. So anyway, so Gigi, for those that might not know, she is the Gianna Sculpt uh, by Kathy Romero Biscotti. Biscotti. Um, oh, one thing I wanna show you all really quickly before I get into the video. Um, this pacifier, um, actually cindy dennard from i think it's doll so beautiful but cindy dennard from facebook made the pacifier and pacifier clip i bought a baby from her and she um my big girl that you guys haven't seen yet unless you're in the chat about zara well maybe you guys seen her in the background but um zaria uh this she didn't send this for Zaria, she sent it for one of my other babies. But she makes these pacifiers and pacif clips. Oh my gosh, it is so cute! Um, really, really cute. And I love that she actually can use she actually used different nipples because a lot of them, a lot of people use Avent pacifiers, I guess, because it's easier for the beading and stuff. And I just for me, wait, yeah. Um, I prefer these nipples, the more flat nipples. Anyway, <laughs> I don't feel like forcing it, but I don't have to force it really, but I, she don't have no KY left on there too. So anyway, but I just wanted to share that, um, she does those. Uh, and I think, I don't want to quote her prices, but I think she said for the passive clip and the pacifier is like, 20 bucks or something like that that's really good because a lot of people charge i've paid a lot more for other pacifier pacifiers and pacifier clips and i really like these um so anyway that's that um i just i had to try it on her but yeah g gg is um so you guys know i've had this love I, well, I've never had a love-hate relationship with her. I've had nothing but love for her. Um, Gigi is a baby that I worked so hard in the beginning. I wanted to be able to keep her because I bought her initially to paint and sell. And then I was just like, no, I, I want to um, I want to keep her. But, you know, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do it. So since I sold Jaden, I will confess, I have pulled Gigi back off again and I do want to keep Gigi so bad because she's just like the perfect size. And for whatever reason, I just love dressing her. I love the way she turned out. Um, she's so soft and she wrinkles so nicely. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to try. Like, like her, her arms are like, let's see. I don't know if you can see like the wrinkles. And I'm not, she's not even being forced to do anything um and she wrinkles and her legs are the same way like they literally will wrinkle well you can't see it right like that but they her legs wrinkle up like when you're moving her and stuff and it's not about the wrinkling itself like it's not a naturally wrinkle it just wrinkles like skin and so it's really nice and i really and she's just so soft so um I like to call her my peaches and cream babies, so I kind of 
try call myself take, keeping it simple, but sometimes I find that less is more um, when painting these babies, and I just fell in love with her. So she has good size feet, which is really good for and it's funny because the feet were the main thing i was like i don't know about those really fat feet i don't know how that's gonna you know look or you know but i started to let me show you her feet so she has like little fat chubby feet um they're not overly fat she does have an ankle still and everything but she I like putting her on shoes. I like putting her on socks. So, I don't know. Because of her size, I love dressing her up. So, I really, really loved her. And so, I'm like, I'm going to keep her. Um, I was going to buy another kit and paint another kit. But I'm like, every time I try to do that, I never get it the way that I wanted it. So, I mean, the or the way that I did it the first time. So I'm like, if I get another kid, I would probably end up selling it anyway. So what's the point? So I already have her here. And next year I'm gonna go ahead and finish rooting her and she'll just be a part of my collection. Um, Brady is going to be sold. Um, I'm not gonna keep him for sure um, because I can't keep all of them. So Brady, Orion, my cuddle baby will be available. Um, and yeah, so I'm just playing, you know, switcheroo, you know, sell one, keep one, sell one, keep one, sell one, keep one. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So see, she just, I mean, she posed so nicely. It's like, there's like not much she can't do. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Let me let me see if I can. Look at look at that little look at that little knee. Wait, let me see if it'll focus in. Oh my gosh. She's so she's so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love her. I love, love, love this baby. So I want to ask you guys, like, what, what, like, if you paint, um, what is the deciding factor on which babies, like, you keep versus sell? Like, how do you guys manage that? I, I'm still struggling with that part, like, because it's like, I want to keep my best work, but then it's like, I also want to put out my best work because I, you know what I mean? Like, you want to have your best work out there, but then at the same time, it's like, have you ever, like, for me, sometimes I paint a baby and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, like, impress my own self, and so it's like, I don't think I can do it again, because I always, and, and, I hate to say this publicly, but I always feel like I'm not good enough when it comes to my painting. I know it's, like, crazy. So, like, and I'm not fishing for compliments or you know you guys to be like yes you are da, da, da. I'm just telling you the truth I literally I talk to my friends and I'd be like I don't know if this baby is good enough I don't know if this I don't know like the least little thing that doesn't work the way that I envisioned it to work I I think I failed so with that being said when I do find a baby that I really really like think I did a really good job on it's like oh I want to keep that one but then it's like no I want the world to see I did good on this one actually <laughs> it's so weird it's so weird I was thinking the other day and I I don't know like sometimes I can be very overly sensitive and drama it out and just emotional about everything and so I was thinking to myself I was like I cannot believe I'm actually doing this like <laughs> I don't know like have you guys ever achieved something that you thought you could never do um we were actually telling um my daughter gabby we were telling her the other day she was while well, she was struggling with something with her classwork and we were like just know that you can do it because remember when you thought you couldn't ride your bicycle oh my god that girl was like making me go out on the back patio and 
ride her on you know push her on the bike and then on the driveway and the pavement and it was just like oh my gosh like she she thought she was supposed to learn how to ride a bicycle in one day and she was like crying she was like i'm never gonna be able to do this and we're like yes you will and i was like you just gotta keep practicing and now you know i'm out there sweating like a pig trying to you know or whatever and then she just like I think maybe after a few days of her going out trying consistently, one day she just got on it and she just went. And I was, and she was, she's, so we were like, don't ever think that you can't do anything because remember how you thought you couldn't do this and you were able to accomplish it. So you can always, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And so that's what I'm saying to you guys too. Anything you think you want to do and you're really passionate about it, I think you can do it um but nevertheless let me see if I can flip her over so you guys can see like what I was talking about about the back of her the back of her hair so like I don't know can you see guys like see she has hair <laughs> she has some hair back there so she will definitely pass off as being complete i know she don't have these are kind of swimming on her a little bit but they work um she's a big girl but she doesn't feel like extremely heavy where is my um thing i keep losing them the little brush for her hair you got to be kidding me. Um, so, yeah, I just, I was, and I know I got off track. I'm always off track. I'm like an old lady. I tell stories and you'd be like, lady, get to the point. You already said this before. Blah, 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 blah. I know I'm getting old because I'm starting to do that a lot. But, um. My point was is that I kept saying that I would never paint um, vinyl. I remember a lot of the artists that I used to buy from, they used to say, um, you have a good eye for color. I think you will actually paint really well. And I'm just like, I'm a collector. Just sell me the, the baby, let me buy it, move on about my business. I don't have the patience for it, da 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 da. And they were like, I really think you would surprise yourself. They really, a lot of, artists that I bought from really thought that not a lot of them but a couple of them really was encouraging me some of them definitely weren't encouraging me because they was making good money off of me but <laughs> um was encouraging me to try painting and I just knew for a fact that I would not do well at it. I, like I've never painted nothing in my life before so I painted um when I started painting reborns I, you know, of course I quit a couple times and I came back to it, but once I started getting decent at reborn painting, I, listen, I promised to the world that I, I mean, you guys know, I probably said it on here a couple times. I will never try to touch silicone because it was just too complex, too risky, too much money to just be messing up. And so I was just so out to, that I would never do it and now I'm doing both and I'm just I'm, I'm really like shocked but anyway um that's just a part of my journey and my story so um I'm never someone I'm always trying to make sure I humble myself and I stay humble because I'm never the one to think that I'm all that in a bag of chips or I'm the best at at anything um I just know that I do put in all that I have. I paint with love. I'm very passionate about these dolls. Um, I want them to look as realistic as possible, like babies. And to me, they are my little imaginary babies, which is why they all have names and all their little paperwork. Even for my personal collection, I literally have paperwork for them and everything. And I just these, this is my whole little um, fantasy world of just, you know, cotton candy and bubbles. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, 
you know, you, you go through life and it's so many things that you can get wrong, but you got to embrace the things that you get right in life and anything that you want to work on, you have to work on it and just try to improve it. But I think we can all be great in this world. So anyway, GG the great. <laughs> no, um, I will talk to you guys later in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed just chatting. And I know I didn't do much with her, but I was just showing like you can, you know, just like pose this girl all kinds of crazy ways. And I love her armatures. I really love her armatures. Um, I feel like they're very secure. I, I love, you know, how they move and yeah, I just love her. So anyway, that is it and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.